if anybody want to get a facility unless you are not uh, requesting you cannot enjoy the benefit whatever the bank is offering when you are doing a net banking or mobile banking so after getting a use after doing access or transferring immediately you need to log out so that is very security purpose all the customers are not uh, getting a, a facility or access so they want to request for the bankers first okay i want for internet banking facility then only your internet banking will be active a warm welcome to one and all i am natesh lachur in commerce vidyashram first grade college mysore the temple of excellence we are in the unit 5 session 2 second semester bcom law and practice of banking the chapter name is e banking so in the last session which is related to e banking few concept and today my agenda interbank mobile payment service we call it as imp yes and next one security measures in the e banking and the real time grass settlement which is nothing but rtgs which is very famous and the next national electronic fund transfer which is neft we call it as neft and moving forward so the first one interbanking mobile payment service imps interbanking mobile payment service because uh, whenever we are try to select a electronic platform so even the customers are getting a lot of benefits because the bankers are made such a benefit to offer to the customer so interbanking mobile payment service which is a mobile payment service seen to be a gradually gaining ground in the india as almost all the major bank have extended the service that enable account holder to access account and transfer fund using the mobile phone because the customers are installed the mobile app respected mobile or those who are having an account in the any uh, respected bank so they want to install the app which is related to mobile operations okay so which is whenever you are installing a mobile app for, for doing a electronic banking so uh, which is nothing but the inter banking mobile app since uh, february 2012 around 15 bank have extended the imps service to their customer and the number of people adopting the service has gone up significantly now almost all the bank are providing a facility for the customer okay those who are really getting a benefit because uh, we are from, we are depending on the electronic platform so uh, whenever you want to transfer money whenever you want to check the statement or balance checking immediately within a fraction of second you can transfer money or the same time you can receive money from third party so uh, which is almost all the banks are computerized because of uh, technology every bank or develop a particular software or app for the customer benefit and interbanking mobile payment service for customers to customer transfer because we don't want to go for we don't want to depend on the manual system we are completely depending on the electronic so within a fraction of second we can transfer to any customer even uh, when the businessman when they are getting a raw material even they want to uh, transfer money for the supplier account so using a imps uh, easily we can transfer within a fraction of second we can transfer okay and the bank account holder need to register with the respective bank first if anybody want to get a facility unless you are not uh, requesting you cannot enjoy the benefit whatever the bank is offering okay so imps which is a electronic transfer the bank individual customers are getting benefit like a, a businessman also getting the customer to customer transfer the business to supplier or any payment which is related to bill payment okay recharge purpose the bank uh, issue the unique seven digit number called mobile money identifier so which is nothing but the called mobile money identifier okay so because any customers having an account of course they have a customer account our unique id code is very important here to access and the mobile banking personal identification number 
mobile banking personal identification m pin is generated by the individual so sometime individual bank which is given for the six digit or three four digit okay so the mobile pin is very important to operate so either you are transferring money so definitely which is asking to fill the m pin okay so once you fill the transfer the access will be continue Moving to security measure in the e-banking. Security, what and all? The security is very important because of cyber security. Okay, even do not share your detail with anyone because any uh, whenever the instant banking are sending a message every day, so you don't want to share the OTP or ATM password or net banking password. So you need to maintain very secret. Okay, so the confidential is very important. So change your password regularly. You don't want to depend one particular password for the long period. So periodically you need to change for the, just for protecting yourself, your account. Okay. So do not use public computer to log in because the hackers, what they are doing, they are trying to extract the data. So that's what you need to depend always for personal computers. Okay. Keep checking your saving account regularly. You will get to know what exactly the balance is there. So most of the customers, they are not checking the balance. So all of a sudden, if any money is detected, then they are taking a step which is not at all correct. Disconnect the internet connection when not in use. When you are doing a net banking or mobile banking, so after getting a usage, after doing access or transferring immediately, you need to log out. So that is very security purpose okay so uh, type your internet banking ULR okay because of ULR only which is a connecting for the internet so we are depending for the internet is very important always use license antivirus software okay if you try to install any free version the hackers are sending an app for the customers to uh, install so uh, most of the app will attract capture the data whatever the personal data you are stored in the mobile device or any computer so that's what the license antivirus is very important Next one, real time grass settlement, RTGS, okay, the real time, uh, because uh, we, at the time we are trying to avoid completely the paper currency. So using a RTGS immediately, we can transfer to any person, any institution, any government, okay. So RTGS is a real time grass settlement. We, whenever the transactions like a transfer, okay, immediately you can take for the RTGS request. Uh, for that reason, as an account holder or net banking, they want to create the beneficiary list the first. Okay, so the system are specialist fund transfer system where the transfer of money or uh, security take place from one bank to uh, any other bank. Okay, because uh, for example, you have an account in the Canara Bank, you just want to transfer the third parties uh, are having an account in the SBI. If you want to transfer better, you have to depend on the RTGS or NEFT. So easily interbank transfer can be easily done. So the real time on grass basis, the settlement in the real time means the payment transaction is not subjected to any waiting period. So after sending to third party, so the few hours, a few minutes, you need to wait for the statement. Okay, the transaction, if it is success, definitely you can get the, uh, your money is debited from the new account. With the transaction being settled as soon as they are processed, okay, so immediately you cannot get a result. So you need to wait for the few minutes. Grass settlement means the transaction in settled on the uh, one to one basis because you have an account in the Canara Bank, you are transferring to SBI, so the process will be going. So without uh, bonding the or netting with any other transactions, settlement means that once process the payment are final and recoverable. So that means uh, the payment is not going to credit uh, in your third party account, whomever you are transferring because the bankers, uh, they are having a different bank, you are having a different bank. So, so it is taking a lot of time. Next one, national electronic fund transfer NEFT. We can transfer fund anywhere. So using a NEFT, NEFT facility, 
Uh, NEFT is an electronic fund transfer system maintained by the Reserve Bank of India, which is controlled directly, controlled by the RBI. So whenever you are transferring, you need to get an evidence. So with the help of a NEFT or RTGS, we are getting as a customer, you are getting a benefit. And the state uh, started in the November 2005. The setup was established and maintained by Institute uh, uh, for the Development and Research in the Banking and Technology because we are standing in the electronic platform. So easily we can transfer. Then also the RBI is monitoring or controlling. So NEFT enable the bank customers in India to transfer fund between any two NEFT enabled. So even the opponent also they are getting a facility from the NEFT. Okay. So the details uh, at the time after completing your transaction, you can take the uh, passbook printout or you can uh, see the statement. So which is clearly specified uh, NEFT. The account, uh, bank account on one to one basis, it is done via electronic message. So apart from the sending a message, uh, apart from sending, you can text message uh, either which is related to the transfer fund or the reason for transfer. Okay, easily you can get the, you can type uh, whatever you want. So the steps for NEFT transfer, as there are certain steps uh, as a customers they want to follow. You are doing for the first time, you must remember these steps. The first step, log on the internet banking page on your account. So all the customers are not uh, getting a, a facility or access. So they want to request for the bankers first. Okay, I want for internet banking facility, then only your internet banking will be active. So that is very important. The second step uh, uh, in the uh, home screen, uh, choose the fund transfer option. So because of different different bank, uh, they are having a different icons which is visible in the website. So easily we need to select for the choose for fund transfer. Third step, choose the NEFT option. Okay, there is a NEFT as well as RTGS options will be there. So you need to choose the NEFT options on the fund transfer page. Okay. So fourth step, uh, choose the beneficiary from the lease to send money. For the first time you are sending for the any specific person, you need to register. So after registering, it is asking for the, the beneficiary account detail, the IFSC code, uh, okay, the branch, everything. After uh, registered, it will take for 24 hours for activate for the uh, third person beneficiary list, which is reflecting the after 24 hours. Step five. If you wish to add new beneficiary, because first time you are doing, first time you are transferring, you are already created beneficiary list, easily you can choose the person name. For the first time, add new beneficiary, click on the add beneficiary button on the page, which is clearly specified in the icon. So enter details such as account number, name of the person, IFSC code, the bank branch and the type of account like current account, saving account. Okay. And the last step, verify the enter details and confirm. Once you filled all the details, so which is asking for a customer account holder, so verify the details and confirm. Seventh step, enter the four digit OTP you receive on the register mobile number to confirm the beneficiary uh, addition, which is one kind of protections here. After creating a beneficiary, so which is automatically your mobile numbers, you're getting a OTP, you need to enter here. Okay, eighth step, after the prescribed time, the beneficiary added will be ready for fund transfer, prescribed time. For example, the 24 hours I just told, uh, the last uh, step, uh, choose the beneficiary, select the bank account from which fund uh, must be transferred okay because you have a, a account uh, which uh, there are different uh, customers or beneficiary list is highlighting so you need to choose whom you are uh, transferring a fund okay the right person the beneficiary details enter the amount to be transferred and click uh, confirm button to initiate the transaction now this process will be completed keep on watch for next section thank you